Now to format the text, I'm actually going to go up to the window menu and down the list to type and then open up the character panel. Now that usually comes with uh, an adjoining tab for paragraph in there. And there's open type as well, but the main two that we're going to utilize here is character and paragraph. And it will be a bit more efficient if I drag the paragraph panel underneath the character panel just to dock it in there and then click on the character tab to have both panels visible at the same time. So the first thing is I'll hover over the text frame, double left click, insert my cursor in there, press Command A or Control A on a PC to select all the text. And then we're going to stick with the same font family, Myriad Pro, um, and then leave it set to regular. I'm going to change the font size to 10 points. You'll notice that the leading then changes to 12. Uh, wherever you see the leading value of 12 um, or any other value in there with brackets around it, that indicates that it's using auto leading. If I just click on the drop down menu, there you'll see auto leading. And if I hover over the others, you can see in here the preview that Illustrator provides for us what that would look like. So if we were to choose any other value in here, it would cease to be auto leading. It would be our own custom leading size. And that changes the vertical uh, type spacing in there. So I'm going to leave that just set to auto at the moment. And then I'm going to hover over the top line, click in there, click three times to select that full line in there. And then I'll change that one to be 28 points. Now <laughs> there isn't a preset in there for that. So 24 is the closest click on that one and then tap the up cursor key, the up arrow in here to get to 28 points. And then you'll notice that the, um, the, the gap between the first paragraph, which is our title, of course, and the next paragraph down is very close. So what I am going to do at this point then is I'll go back and press command A or control A to select everything. And in the paragraph panel down at the bottom here, we have a field which is called space after space after paragraph. So if I swipe over that, the, the best thing that you can do here is pick the main style of your text, the main body of it. And we, of course, have applied it with 10 points in size and 12 points of leading. So if I just type in 12, hit the return key, that gives us the equivalent of a line gap in there. So just trying to make things look a little bit easier to read, break up the paragraphs in there. And we did it with formatting. We didn't do it with a forced line break by putting the return key at the end of a paragraph and hitting the return key. That's something we should never, ever do in all these Adobe applications. It's just going to create more work. So I'll go back to the second paragraph down here and, and then click in there three times to select everything in that paragraph. And now this one, I'm going to change this one to 12 points. And that is the bulk of our type formatting done for this particular thread of text. And what we'll do in the next video is take a look at how we can just pull the text away from the edges of the frame with something called inset spacing.